Hey guys, my name is Isabella and welcome to my ASMR channel. So before we get into today's video, just want to remind everyone about a couple of things. First, I have a Patreon where for $3 a month you can get five extra ASMR videos each and every month. I also have an OnlyFans, so if that's something you might be interested in, you can find the link to that down below. Additionally, if you're looking for a custom video, check out my Wizio, where I make all of my custom videos. send that new inmate in that was having trouble placing his commissary order and I'll help him out. Just send him in here, okay? Yeah. Super. Great. Thank you. You're having trouble with your commissary order? Mm. Lucky for you, I'm here to help. So, I can give you the full rundown on how to go about placing your order. Um, it's really not that difficult, but for a first time inmate, I get that it can just be a little confusing, so I will fully show you exactly how to do it, okay? But first... Let's take these off of you. You don't need these right now. Just so I don't lose them. Just keep them right here. We can place them back on you before you leave. This is the break room for all of the prison employees. It's much nicer than your rec room, as you can tell. Typically, I'm not supposed to let any inmates in here, but... at all, or do you have any idea what you think you might want? So, for the commissary list, how it works, you'll just put your name, your uh, number that is on your jumpsuit, see right there, um, your unit, and the date. And that just goes on the top, and then there are lists of all the different things that you can get. We have Let's see, my laptop here. So, there are stamps, drinks, candy, soup, condiments, food, snacks, different health products. Um, we also have dental products, cosmetics, batteries, laundry items, hair care, recreation items, different supplies, foot care, um, different clothing items, hygiene products, 
shoes, miscellaneous. Um, and that is basically the list. So, what would you like to potentially order? I'm just checking my schedule quickly to see. Okay. I have some time. I don't have to be anywhere anytime soon, so I can definitely walk you through this entire process. Okay. Let's take a look at that. Also, there is a certain amount that you're limited to um, per each section for the most part. So, should we go through snacks? Okay. So, for snacks, you can um, a limit of three total. So, and that is for this section that I'm about to read to you. You have nacho cheese chips, plain tortilla chips, pretzels, um, a rotating type of potato chip, and another miscellaneous rotating chip. So it'll be some type of chip. We don't really know. It could be sour cream, could be sea salt and vinegar, um, you know, just different things. And you can limit one of each for the next that I'm about to read to you. Vanilla wafers, snack crackers, cinnamon honey grams, and then a rotating miscellaneous cracker. Um, and then the next group, you can have a limit of two each. So um, you could get as many as you want, but you can only get two. So you can't get three, four, you know, you get it. You get it. I can tell you're smart. Okay, so rice cakes, Oreo cookies, um, and so that comes with two Oreo cookies, so if you get um, a two-pack, you'll get four Oreo cookies. Rotating cookies, raw almonds, deluxe mixed nuts, trail mix, cashews, salted prunes, marshmallows, pudding, olives, pork rinds, popcorn, and you can either get a light popcorn or a buttered popcorn. Um, dried fruit, party mix, pop tarts, and the pop tarts come in a four pack, rotating pastry, granola bars, protein bars, and it comes with five protein bars, uh, breakfast bar rotating. And then you said you wanted to hear the candy selection because it's Halloween, right? I got candy on the mind. So, you could get a Hershey's chocolate bar, Hershey's almond bar, some type of caramels, Jolly Ranchers, assorted, and your limit is three of each. Um, Jolly Ranchers fire, starlight mints, licorice, sugar-free candy, rotating candy bars, and a rotating candy. Okay, so you want three Hershey bars. Three Hershey bars and three Jolly Ranchers. Um, the Oreo cookies. You said you wanted the nacho cheese chips. Um, protein bars. continue. Do you want me to read the food items to you or do you want condiments? Do you want any um, recreational items or hair care? Do you want any clothing? 
You sure? No for care. Okay. Yeah. That's that's I guess that's it then. Do you want any food? Like just like we have pizza kits, taco mix, pepperoni slices. Um we have oatmeal, squeezed cheese, cheese sticks, tuna, salmon, chicken, shredded beef, spam, beef bites, turkey bites, white rice, brown rice, ice cream. You can write in the flavor. Well, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. <laughs> Those are the options, but you know, there have been times where people write in different flavors like um, sometimes they do have mint chocolate chip but that is very rare they have had cookie dough before but again very rare um, but sometimes people get the random flavor they request a lot of times your safest bet is chocolate strawberry vanilla yeah I was able to help you. I understand your first commissary can be a little confusing. You know, it's good to have someone here to really explain things to you. Um, I should probably put these back on you as well. I see your wrist. place our commissary orders usually either the end of the month or the beginning of the month so this will be for next month mm. yeah so who is um putting money in your account just out of curiosity it's like a girlfriend or someone no oh that's nice have you made any friends do you like your cellmate That's good. That's good, yeah. Um, oh, I've been working at this specific prison for ooh, five years, maybe. I think five years. I go back and forth. I think about doing something else, but, you know, I do like my job. Um, I enjoy it. I get to, I don't know, just get to do something different. It's interesting career path being a prison guard it's you know always something going on um yeah mm -hmm, definitely I know I know it's true it's true people always tell me that people always tell me that mm -hmm. I'll be honest, I noticed you in the cafeteria the day you arrived. You just really stuck out to me. I notice all the new inmates. It's like, I have an eye for them. But you caught my attention more so than the others. Definitely, definitely. Just know, even though I am your prison guard and, you know, you have to do what I say and all that stuff, just know that if you have any questions at all, you need my support, I am here for you. Because I did, you know, us prison guards, we, we talk. And... It's so silly why you're in here. Like, what you did is, like, a baby crime, you know? Like, you should not 
be in here. It's like so, so lame that you actually got jail time for that. Yeah, literally. I know. Did you have a bad lawyer? Mm hmm. You know, that happens a lot sometimes if you just don't get the right representation. I thought about becoming a lawyer because I just feel like I'm really good at like arguing my opinion and side and I would do a great job getting people off. I mean, obviously, just the ones that I truly believed were innocent or that didn't deserve a harsh sentence. You really just shouldn't even be in here. I mean, like, I don't know, a hundred hours of community service, a little fine slap on the wrist, you would have been good to go. The fact that you're actually in here, I think is crazy. Yeah. Ugh, I know. I know. I totally agree. I Literally, all cars look the same to me. I could totally understand how you would be looking for your car in the parking lot, think that you found your car, think that your car key just for some reason wasn't working, having to break into the car and hotwire it because you thought it was your car. Being so overwhelmed and confused in that moment that you didn't even notice that it was a different license plate number, that all the possessions and personal items in the car weren't yours. I, I believe that 100%. Yeah, you were not stealing a car. You thought it was yours. And then, and then when it turned out that your car wasn't even in the parking lot, and that you didn't even have your car there at the time, you just forgot. You thought you drove yourself to the store. It's so dumb. I know. I know. Oh. You know, people are just like always ready to believe the worst in humans. You know, like we all just want to like believe the worst in each other and it's like he made an honest mistake. You should not be behind bars. Not with a face like this. <laughs> no, there aren't security cameras in here. Well, there are, but I turned them off before you came in. I like my privacy. I don't need people listening to like my every word and like watching me eat my lunch in the break room. It's like so annoying. One sec. I'm supposed to check in while I have you in here. Well, you're not supposed to be in here, but I just wanted to give an update. Everything is going smoothly. We're almost done with the commissary order and I will give you a call when you can come pick him up. Great. Thanks. Yeah, everyone just like has hawk eyes in here, just has to watch like everything that everyone does. Even if you're an employee, you're not like a criminal, not that you are. I I really believe you just got disoriented and confused. But it's so cool that you knew how to hotwire, like that comes in handy, I'm sure. It's more for than just like for stealing cars. I mean, what if you lose your car keys and you can't find them? Exactly. So, what were you like before you came in here? Do, what did you do for work? Oh, you worked in an auto body shop. Very cool. Did what what was the name of the auto body shop? Oh I wasn't that auto body shop in the paper a few years back they arrested the owner at the time for selling stolen car parts? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then you guys like turned things around completely, one hundred percent, and that's why you probably got this sentence. They thought that you were stealing the car to bring it back to the shop. To... Makes sense now. Well, well, they can't assume based on someone else's past mistakes that you would do the same. I just think that is so wrong. I really enjoyed this little chat we had. It was nice. I mean, you totally could have figured out that commissary order on your own. I just kind of wanted to meet you and used it as an excuse for us to talk privately. So, thank you for for coming and meeting up with me. Definitely, you know. I have your back in here. I'll watch out for you. A hundred percent. Okay, I should place the phone call to have you picked up. I put this back on too. I'm supposed to wear this while I'm at work. I just feel like it doesn't really look that great on me. Um, yeah, so come pick him up. Cool. Mm, bye. We probably have like a few more minutes. Um, so is there anything you want to ask me? Mm. Okay, okay, between you and me, between you and me, in all seriousness. That is 100% true. Yes. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah. Seriously. Don't. I got your back. Like I said, I got your back. You have nothing to worry about. These are tight enough. Okay. Just want to make sure I don't want them to, you know, be wondering what was going on in here if you didn't have your handcuffs tightly on. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. He's ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we placed the order. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you. <laughs>